Welcome back. So we're recording this for Friday. Uh, this one comes to us from Superior. This who would win is Kid Sasuke versus Kid Ninja. Now, let's be clear. Kid, I'm assuming, means first the original series run of Naruto. Not Naruto, Shippen and Neji, or Saka, Sasuke, not including Boruto. No, we're talking about them in the first series. So, and the truth is, we could have had this matchup. If the Chunin exams had just gone differently, if, like, the final tournament roster had been different, we could have seen Sasuke versus Neji. In fact, they those two were going to clash uh, before the Chunin exam actually started. Lee interrupted. So, hypothetically, so there's your scenario right there, is that in an alternate universe, these two ended up fighting in the Chunin exams instead of Naruto and Neji and Gaara and Sasuke. So, who would win in a fight? Let's break these guys down real quick. Uh, Neji, and we gotta remember, we gotta factor in their abilities at the time. So, Mange Kyo for Sasuke, Rinnegan, uh, I it's actually Rin Sharingan, screw that, Sharingan just sounds better. No Sharingan, no Susano, none of the jutsu that we saw him display in Shippuden that he did not display in the original series. Even if he, even if he knew them, he never displayed it, therefore we can't count it because we can't confirm he did in fact know the technique back then. So, Sasuke at that time immensely, very fast, like immensely, fast, nearly base form Lee level speeds. Lee made a point of uh, saying how fast Sasuke had become comparable to him with his weights on. And Lee was fast. Um, because that his speed, it allows him to use the Jidori effectively because he had to build up the speed for it. Uh, he had two shots, three when his curse mark activated, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that he could use with the Chidori. Obviously, we know the Chidori is a slightly lesser version of the lightning blade that Kakashi uses. And it's obviously a technique by Kakashi. Uh, Sasuke, though, was also very effective in just straight hand-to-hand -hand combat. Like, he wasn't... He's not Hyuga level good because of the style of fighting they do. But he was very... He was relatively effective in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He was better than Naruto. He was more refined at any rate. Uh, probably more... In fact, he was more refined than most of the peers in his age group, save for someone like probably like a Hinata, Neji, or Wak Lee. And that was just because Hinata's t style of fighting would have been very problematic for Sasuke, as well Neji's. Uh, Sasuke obviously also is uh, not a master, but his bread and butter is in fire just including having the dragon, uh, the dragon flame, or fire style dragon fire attack. I can't remember exactly what it was. It was dragon fire or something. It wasn't dragon bullet. That's a different technique. And it wasn't great dragon fire. I think it's just dragon fire, honestly. The technique that he used against Orochimaru. Uh, Phoenix Flower Jutsu, where he creates many small little shots of fire. You can hide kunai in those. Just standard fireball jutsu as well. Uh, he was also pretty skilled with ninja wire, if I remember correctly. Uh, also carried a windmill shuriken on him when he had the chance. And then there's the curse mark. When the curse mark activated, it boosts it boost his chakra and his physical abilities to a much more impressive degree. And by the end of the series, he, or by the end of the original series, he had access to his second stage curse mark, which gave him wings. It gave him hand-like wings so he could fly, technically. And it boosted his power up even further. Didn't really grant him any abilities, because the curse mark actually doesn't grant you any abilities apart from enhanced chakra and physicality. That's about all the curse mark does. It also corrupts your body and corrodes your body, but whatever. So, there is that. Um, and this alternate universe time, like I mentioned, they'll be fighting in the tuning exams, but Sasuke has access to that. Uh, Neji. Now, Neji, where Neji, let's go over the, let's actually go over everything Neji has, and I'll actually compare and contrast them a little bit. Neji, his bread and butter is actually hand-to-hand -hand combat. He is considered a prodigy by his clan, and the gentle fist style is a deadly style, cause, inserting chakra into each strike, aims for the pressure points, the vitals points. And it can cause extreme internal damage, completely destroy the chakra network if done right. Neji is, uh, obviously I forgot to mention Sasuke and Shuranga, but I'll compare them Aijutsu to Aijutsu in a minute. Uh, his Byakugan allows him X-ray vision, allows him to see the chakra network, chakra reserves, uh, 360 vision. Byakugan is extremely capable uh, technique, um, or uh, Kikigenkai, if you will. He, his rotation is basically there to compensate for the minor blind spot behind his uh, vertebrae. I can't remember exactly where it is located. Uh, exactly. Uh, below, like, the third? I can't remember exactly on his back. It's 
but he does have a blind spot. It's near 360 vision. Um, and the rotation is a chakra-based technique that allows him to basically create a Doma Chakra sphere and, you know, block an incoming attack. Uh, obviously, he's got the standard gentle fist. The only real technique he has, though, is the 20, 68, uh, 64 palms and the, tech, and I believe the 128 pounds is actually a non-canon technique. It's in the games and it's in the anime. It's not in the manga. Um, other than that, though, they're both. Uh, he's also extremely analytical when he wants to be, but he was also pretty blinded by his own rage. But so is Sasuke, to be frank. So, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, how would these guys stack up against each other? Well, so, Neji holds the advantage in, honestly, in reflexes and in hand-to-hand. Um, uh, -hand. Reflexes because he also had to keep up with Naruto, who was... Um, you know, Fox Chakra Enhanced, and he was still able to keep up to some degree with Naruto. But more importantly, he keeps up with Lee more often than not. He can keep up with base form Lee without any issue, as far as we know. Like, we know Rock Lee wasn't, um, didn't feel he was capable of beating Neji as he was in his base form, and Sasuke's speed is comparable to Rock Lee in base form. So reflexes wise and speed uh, and overall speed, he seems he would it would seem that he'd be able to keep up with Sasuke at minimum, if not be able to uh, overpower him in terms of speed. But Sasuke's Sharingan is what we also have to call into question. Obviously, the two ju ocular jutsu do very different things. Sasuke's copies jutsu, although uh, Neji doesn't really do much with hand signs, so that's not going to be uh, something Sasuke can normally do here. Um, Sasuke though also is able to predict and track movements and basically see movements as they're being see he can see any movement that's coming but if he's not fast enough to um, react to it it's not going to matter so Sasuke and I I think Neji it falls right in that realm of hard to react to but not impossible to react especially when we get to Sasuke as a king to the end of the series but still he'd be difficult so. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, Neji has the edge. Reflexes wise, I think Neji has at the edge. Diversif uh, di not di diversification is not an actual word. Diversity within their arsenal, that goes to Sasuke, hands down. Sasuke just has more in his um, and more in his uh, more under his belt because they both have an ocular jutsu. Neji's got a defense jutsu in the rotation. He's got one physical uh, technique, but it's really not it's not an actual technique like a jutsu. It's just a technique within a style. It's just an advanced gentle fish, fish, gentle fist uh, technique, which gentle fist, you can just count that among there. Sasuke, though, he has a showing on. He's got access to and more ninja tools than we see, uh, see Neji have access to. Yeah, Neji's got access to kunai, but that's about it. Uh, and probably some shuriken. But then he's got no, then we know Sasuke has at least three fire jutsu under his belt, plus the Chidori. So no, Sasuke's got the diversity advantage down. And his Sharingan is going to be a lot e better at keeping up in, with Neji in terms of just keeping track of him than the Byakugan is. Though the Byakugan, Byakugan is not... Um, it's not terrible from what I know for doing that. It's just not... Um, it's not designed for that like the Sharingan is. So, and that, and we can't include any Genjutsu that Sasuke could use because Sasuke really never showed prowess with Sharingan Genjutsu in the original series. Uh, we just never saw him use it. Not to say he couldn't, we just never saw him. So, yeah, um, yeah, um, but still, the question remains <laughs> who would win this fight? So, these two meet in the fight. They obviously know each other so enough about each other that Sasuke knows he can't get within range of Neji, and Neji knows that he has to get in with range of Sasuke. So the question is, who's going to be able to keep the other at bay uh, in terms of long distance versus close range? Who's going to be able to get within the guard? Who's going to be able to keep the other at bay long enough? So the fight begins. Sasuke immediately tries, you know, using you know, ninja, kunai, shuriken, whatever. It doesn't work, but he immediately comes back in with a fire-style jutsu, fireball jutsu. Neji uses a rotation. Sasuke's using his time to set up another technique, probably. He's going to try fire, uh, maybe tries the phoenix flower jutsu this time around. Uh, again, Neji, Neji instead is, you know, avoiding it, trying to get within Sasuke's guard. Sasuke, using uh, Chidori, comes in and tries to, you know, take, <laughs> to, uh, take Neji out. Unfortunately, 
Neji reflexes would be enough that he'd be able to get out of the way, although he'd probably have yeah, that, like, oh, God, I need to get out of the way moment. But still, he'd probably be able to get out of the way, just smack, <laughs> smack Chidori out of the way, and he's able to tag Sasuke with gentle fist, but Sasuke's able to avoid that. Uh, overall, getting hit by a serious gentle fist, but he's still got a couple of chakra points sealed. Sasuke has to reevaluate, so now it's Sasuke... Because Sasuke didn't actually finish out the technique. He didn't land anything with the technique. So he still got the Jidori. It's just now harder to mold it. So he molds the Jidori. So this time he's actually using it in um, in a physical sense, in a fighting style sense. Not, uh, you know, kind of trying to jab a little bit. Neji, who wants to try to hit Sasuke, but because he's got a Jidori in his hand, can't do it immediately. Uh, but Sasuke is also able to basically avoid Neji's blow as well. The reason Neji was able to hit him is because he was in the... Um, he was in the uh, middle of an attack. So, so Neji was able to hit him there. Now it's Neji's trying to land attack, but Sasuke is able to keep up for the most part and avoid the attack while still being within the guard. So now they're having a battle of attrition. The problem that we're ultimately going to run into real quick with these guys is neither of these guys. Sasuke later on in the series has pretty large chakra reserve. Like he's got not quite Naruto level chakra reserves, but he's got some pretty sizable chakra reserves of his own. Uh, but that said, and even Kid Sasuke had a reasonable chakra reserve, but he, he's still not a long term, he's not a battle of attrition type of fighter, and neither is Neji. Naruto is a battle of attrition fighter because of just how large his chakra reserves are. He can just outlast people. Neji and Son, Sasuke are not those kind of fighters, and both of them know this, but there's one catch. As they both start to tire out. Neji immediately causes a rotation while he's in with Sasuke's guard. And Sasuke gets caught up and he starts to tag Sasuke. Sasuke, like Naruto, does have one extra bit of chakra, uh, excess of chakra that he can use. And that's his curse mark. So the curse mark activates. Immediately, um, he, he immediately reopens his chakra network up, like, like the fox chakra did for Naruto. And he's able to, um, you know, get within Neji's guard, so this time his speed is enhanced even more, because we know it enhances his physical abilities. So now Neji's on the back burner here, and he gets tagged by Sasuke. Sasuke's now kind of like just lording over him, like, it's it. This ends now. It's like, Ugh. And, you know, he comes in again, grabs, grabs Neji by the throat, about to do a Shidori, and then Neji just poof, smacks him right in the chest, just like he did with the Hinata. Now, because he's got his curse mark activated, it's not going to... Like, the chakra point will probably reopen with enough energy going through there, but it's not necessarily about the ener the chakra point at this point. It's about the shot he did to Sasuke's heart and his chest and his lungs. And now Sasuke's... <laughs> he's, he's, now go er, he's now coming er, rolling back. So I was like, you son of a bitch. Immediately tries to activate his second stage curse mark. And he is going there, but Neji, at that point, it gives it his all. It's like, uh, gent uh, Hugo style. Gentle fist. One, six, uh, two palms, four palms, eight palms, six, eight palms, 32 palms, eight trikas, 64 palms. And, and they, you can quickly tell it's not enough. So we're giving him the animated technique just to be safe. 128 palms. Technically speaking, he could just keep doubling and doubling and doubling that one. Go to 256, 5, 12, 1,024. I mean, if you had the stamina for it. But yes, ultimately, Neji gets his 128 palms off, sealing every last chakra point on Sasuke, including where the curse mark is. And ultimately, Sasuke just... Ah, and Sasuke drops. I give the win to Neji in this. Now, here's the reason I give the win to Neji on several regards. Even though Sasuke has a more diverse arsenal, they're all long-range techniques. Neji is very much... In this fight, they would know each other's overall weaknesses. The curse mark would be something that throws Neji off, definitely. But they all, they both have an idea of each other's techniques and how the other fights. Neji knows how to get, knows that he needs to get in close, and he's fast enough to get in close. He also has things to block long range techniques in terms of rotation, and his Byakuyan can keep an eye on Sasuke so he doesn't get out of range or out of reach when he, you know, gets blinded by an attack. So, right off the bat, even though Neji is very limited he's a lot more refined than sasuke is he's also had a bit more experience overall he's been to be he's been again for longer than sasuke has, so he's had more practice he also trains with someone 
who is basically Sasuke's equal, if not superior, when it comes to raw speed in Rock Lee. So he can keep up with Sasuke's speed as well. The issue is going to really come from the curse mark and from the influence it has. But we've seen that Neji is capable of beating not just someone who uses a curse mark, but someone who has a second stage curse mark as well in Kitamaru. Now, Kitamaru's techniques are very much different than Sasuke's. In fact, if anything, uh, Kitamaru is a much more dangerous opponent for Neji than Sasuke is because he fought long range. Uh, and, so and, and Neji just couldn't get a uh, couldn't get to him until the very end where he channeled his chakra through the web. Um, so, if anything, Sasuke, even though Sasuke got second stage curse mark, he's far more in danger than Kitamaru is. And he's also blinded by his own ego, unlike Kitamaru. Kitamaru is probably among the most level-headed of the group uh, of the Sound 4, and Neji was still able to beat him. Sasuke, he can easily get under Sasuke's skin if he tries. So because of those, because he, you know, he can, he's, we've seen he's beaten someone who's got a second-stage curse mark, and someone who's frankly a more dangerous opponent than him the Sasuke was in that regard, because he's a more experienced Genny, because he's more refined ultimately, and because he has his hand-to-hand -hand is just that deadly comparatively, I'm going with Neji in this. Even if Sasuke had access to a second stage curse mark, if these two had met in combat, fresh, ready to go, I think Neji still would have pulled out the win. Uh, just because sealing off his chakra points would have been a very major uh, advantage. Still, ultimately, that's my opinion. What do you think? Uh, do you think Sasuke or do you think Neji? Let me know in the comments below. But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. I'll do a review of it at some point. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Now, see you next time.